Hi, it's Little Miss Drinkies here. And can you know too much wine? No, you cannot. Can you study wine? Oh, of course you can. So I've done a couple of courses uh, at the Queensland College of Wine Tourism out at Stanthorpe. Um, I've done level one, which was just for enthusiasts of wine. I've also done level two, which is the Wine and Spirit Education Trust. It's a uh, international qualification, but I've done it through, um, as I said, the college out at Stanthorpe. And um, as I said, level one, one's just for interest you know, basic, you know, how do you smell, how do you taste, that sort of thing. Level two was a bit more in-depth, you know, about what grapes grow where. It's my textbook and some tasting notes, which obviously I've screwed up. And, of course, my receipt. Um, so this one, the first one I did as a, an in-house course um, somewhere here in Brisbane. So a bunch of us got to a room, got to learn how to taste, had to spit, which is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, you've got to do that when you're a taster, otherwise you can't taste anymore. Um, that's what wine judges do. If you're having 100 wines in a day, you're going to spit. That level two, I did, um, I chose to do out of the classroom and do at home. So I did it over like a five or six week course and I had to buy all these wines and drink them, which was a total shame. Terrible, terrible thing to have to do is try all these different wines, you know, have your friends over, try and get through some of these bottles. I actually didn't get through all the bottles, I have to admit, which was a bit naughty of me because uh, it was a lot of wine. So I have subsequently gotten through them and they were very, very delicious, I have to say. Um, but, da, 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 I got level three. So I have an upcoming wine course this month. In fact, I've got two. Uh, in this particular study pack, Informations on certification. We've got our workbook, very important study guide. You know, some pictures about you know what grapes come from where. Our workbook, all good learnings. Um, I've got my tasting sheet, my official tasting sheet. So you know what uh, flavors you're looking for. You know what color you're looking for. Is it clear? Is it clear? Is it hazy? Uh, you know, it's dark light, um, is it white, red, yellow, orange colours? What does it smell like? Uh, what does it taste like? Is it a good wine or a good example of that particular wine? Even if you don't like that particular type of wine, is it a good example of it? And also just the words that you would, keywords you use to describe it, you know, when you're saying it's floral, you might, uh, might say it's like violets or something like that. Rose petals is one I've found in a few wines that I've had of late. And, you know, is it stone fruit? You know, does it taste like lychee? And that's a thing you might find. Is that blanc that might taste like that? Um, so there's three levels of aromas. The ones you get first hit. And then, obviously, as you taste more, that first hit and that first news wipes away, you get secondary and tertiary flavours. Some wines that are really young and, and really um, smell-driven, aromatic, they probably have more just the primaries. And the ones that have been like an oak and, and mature, uh, matured for longer, they probably have tertiary or, or, um, or third ones. Um, and of course, importantly, with any study is a textbook. And whilst the second one's really well thumbed through, this one's starting to get quite thumbed through. But uh, level three is, I guess, the sommelier level qualification. It's the international one. It's the one that if you want to work in the industry, you really need to have. Um, and I think the idea is I'm going to have to know, oh, hello, Mr. Mishka. Thanks for joining us. He doesn't like to be left out. Come here, baby. Who don't like to be left out? Hey, say hello. All right. Anyway, um, yes, this particular this particular qualification is supposed to be more about um, being able to identify where a wine is from. So, um, in the new world, we like to label the grape types on our bottles, which I think is fabulous. Here, like here in Australia and everywhere that's not you know Europe or the old world, you know, we'll say this is a Chardonnay. This is a Shiraz or a Syrah. This is a Grenache or a Grenache. You know, the same things. Um, you know, you know what you're getting when you when you pick the bottle up and look at it. And go, yeah. But you know, if it says Poule Fumé or Sancier or whatever, you need to know the region to know what kind of grapes grown in. You know, what's a white Burgundy? What's a black, What's a red Burgundy? And so I think I'll be learning more of those. I'm hoping, I guess, the idea is I'm going to be able to learn more about wines just by tasting them and go, oh, that's a Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. I'm pretty good at picking Sauvignon Blancs now, not necessarily from where they're from, but, you know, I think that's the idea. You start to know that this is a warm climate one, so it should taste like this. You know, this is Riesling or it has petrol aromas, you know, and yes, it does. Um, 
So yes, it'll be all learning. So I'm looking forward to sharing my learnings with you guys. And I'm also doing a winemaker for a weekend course coming up. So uh, I'll actually get my hands dirty as well. And I'm looking forward to sharing that all with you. Uh, if you like what I do, subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions about wine, ask me now. And if I don't know, I will, should know soon. And I hope you all have a great night.